we are friends and this is gonna be chat play Super Metroid Randomizer. So we are super hyped for this. So let's go. Okay, so chat play Super Metroid Randomizer. This is going to be a randomizer. Only chat is going to choose the routing decisions. This is a dash randomizer, so it's a major minor split. So we are relying on you, chat, to make the decisions. The very first decision is after we get morph, are we going to go left of morph or are we going to go back up to bomb Dorizo? And that is up to you to decide. That is entirely up to you to decide. And Crow, if, we, if, and Crow, if nobody in chat votes, then we are going to need your help to choose the decision. So down here, we're going to grab um, the morph ball and then two missiles. We see one vote for left to morph. And we should we should say that um we should say that um we need we do need power bombs to go left. So there's definitely a chance that we just won't be able to go left at all. So you have two chances at power bombs. We have one chance at power bombs. We do absolutely need power bombs to go left, otherwise we would just have to go back up. Unfortunately, we do not get power bombs, so we are going to have to go back up. Although, we actually do have, because we got regular bombs, we have one more chance at um, power bombs. If we do get power bombs here, we'll be going back down and heading left and more, as people requested. Nope, never lucky. That's right, we will have a bomb to raise a battle. The coming over here is going to be the ledge grab climb. Um, there's the classic wall jump climb, and there's the then there's the wall, ledge grab climb where you just jump from platform to platform, get back up here, which is a really, really, really cool way to um do this. We definitely appreciate that room so much. Eight, it's gonna be um eight, eight missiles to kill us. The next routing decision is: do we go? Do we go and check gauntlet? Do we go check gauntlet left rooms with the acid left of um up to the landing site? Or do we skip gauntlet? Or do we skip gauntlet and check it later? Gauntlet is the more dangerous, more exciting play. We see one yes gauntlet. We see two yes gauntlets. We are very grateful that Bomb Teresa gave us an E-Tank. Early bombs are assigned. Yes, they are. So, with gauntlet, we are absolutely, absolutely going to need to take a save. We are not going to take a chance. Oh, 
knowledge is not something that we um, are in practice with. So there's a good chance it'll take that there's a 50% chance that we die here, so be prepared. So one of the things that this randomizer gives you is um like a weak charge beam you start with that does 50% damage. Or, sorry, 30% damage. One third damage. So let's see what we have here. Let's see what the... Just an E-Tank. See if these hold. Oh. Ah, we actually did manage to sneak through. Okay, this should be good. Back half is definitely more dangerous than the front half. Um, this is we're using the uh, version that they used at SRL, so this is not the ver this is not the version where that act where that actually happens. Um, we have never actually played the original. Not SRL, SG Live, SG Live was a few weeks ago, and um, we picked up SM Randomizer for that, and we really really liked what it had, so. No space or opening bot wound. There we go. That was a really, really good gauntlet. We only lost 9 HP the entire time. Now we get two chances at whatever these miners are. We get one chance at whatever these miners are. Luckily, we got the right side. Now we have supers. Now we just go through everything and look normal. Love that moonfall. So the next interesting the next interesting routing decision is whether we go up or down the red tower. Yep, clearing Brinstar is absolutely what we need to do now. As much as we'd like love to take let chat pull us all the all around the world, um, we do we do have an estimate that we have to be under. So our routing has to be decent, even if it isn't op even if it isn't optimal. There's more supers. That's good. Grapple, that is um one ingredient to this meridia. Ah, there's there are the sweet power bombs. Very, very needed. Unlikely, but there's always a chance of getting a nasty seed where um Power bombs are just not very good. Okay, so we're at 15, 15, 10. Um, be because we start with the charge beam, this is um, ammo go mode. So one of the trick, the trick for this one is that during the fanfare, you just hold, hold jump and you'll automatically jump because you can buffer a jump by a little bit. So. We are, we're almost definitely not going to be doing full suitless just because, um, full suitless lower norfair. Just because full suitless lower norfair tends to, um, be, require a ton, a ton of ammo and I, ammo and E-tank pickups. What this, what this seed does offer is, um, half suitless. Okay. This trick is awesome. This is a Zenny execute. We're gonna beam shot. 
And if we'd done it correctly, we would have just killed all three with a super. So right now we're gonna clip open. We just use a super right there to clip open the gate. Normally you can't open the gate from this side, but you can just clip a super through using the right positioning. So this is a major minor split, so we are not going to actually see Billy Mays. Billy Mays is just going to be ammo. Love that de-boost out. Space jump, that is an interesting one. That is an interesting one. So is anybody keeping track of up versus down? We're seeing lots of different ups and downs, and... Bro, do you happen to be reading chat? And are we keeping track of... and are keeping... Yes, I am actually taking a look at chat right now, and it's looked like most of the chat is voting for down. Down it is. Down it absolutely is. We're actually super hyped that chat is so divided here. So we have space jump, which means that we can just check x-ray right now. Always a really, really nice check to be able to do. Ah. Space jump is the worst item in the game. We're gonna take a bonk boop there so we can get full run speed for this. Oh no. Um. Okay. Dad. We need to actually be careful and not die, and we are one spike hit away from death now. We're not one spike hit away from death now. Sweet merciful fairy. With space jump, we have a space jump. An early X-ray check is basically required. Okay, so. We're gonna do Kraid and then we're gonna do Upper North here. That is what down that is what down means. That's exactly what down means. Now we're getting lots and lots of E-tanks, which um are definitely pushing us to there. They're definitely pushing us to lower north there. Yep. Yep, we're gonna do crate and then we're gonna be hell running ice. So coming up here is a quick kill quick entrance, one of our favorite tricks. Super easy with space jump. This is a dash. This is a dash rando on um, the SG Live version. Now we're gonna be going for the crate quick kill. Four, four, four supers will do it. Um. So we were out of missiles. Accidentally mismenued. 
Yeah, we were out of missiles to miss menu, and that caused us to be a little bit late. But a very, very good backup. Very, very good backup. We get one major here. Um, we'll take whatever we pick up. And then there's one more major that we get to check here. And then we have to go into Norfair. Running Super Metroid is knowing a backup for a, having a backup for a backup for a backup in every single room. That is just kind of speedrunning in general. Ooh. Okay, so Norfair Norfair or Norfair or Meridia? Norfair Meridia. So in this version, gravity gives 50% protection against heat, so a lower north for hell run is on the table. We're, we're, unfortunately, there's not much time for people to make a decision there, so we're just gonna um, go into lower north air. And we're gonna be cleaning up, um... No, sorry, we're gonna be going to upper north air. And, um... So one thing that people get to decide is, do we do croc? Are we going to do- the next routing decision is, do we do croc first? Or do we do, um... Meridia. Because croc is a slower- croc is definitely a slower check. So as you can see, um, gravity gives 50% protection against heat in this in this version. Which means that, um... 50% protection against heat means that, um, lower north for hell runs are possible. So we're gonna try, um, we're gonna try to get, um, ice less ice escape. Which means that we have to, um, run on the moving platform. That may or may not work. And it worked. That is always a super swag trick to pull off. Norm normally you have to freeze that, but, um, Okay, more power bombs. Um, we're at this point. Um, we're preparing for a lower north for hell run. We are going to be picking up. We are going to be picking up more ammo. We're looking for um, more crystal flash ammo and um, more crystal flash ammo, as well as as well as more e tanks. There's so much potential here. Okay, so this isn't the best health going into here. We should be fine because this is, um, because we take half damage. We have space jump. But yeah, easy, easy hell run. We believe that we'll, we'll probably want to do Meridia before we actually attempt to lower enough for Hellrun. Just because- just because it's so de so deadly. Thank <laughs> you. 
how the suit would the suit was at great E tank. Normally we wouldn't be bothering with ammo at this point, but we really, really want to prepare for um, a Renor Ferry all around. So the next decision coming up is, are we going to do Krokemeyer before? Are we going to do Krokemeyer before Meridia? Or are we just going to go straight into Meridia? That is the next decision. See one vote for Croc. See two votes from Rydia. This is incredibly evenly split. Yeah, we already got high jump. We already got high jump. Okay, so we're doing wonderfully on power bombs. We're gonna need more supers and missiles. Yeah, there's no way that we can um there's no way that we can do a lower north fair hall run before Meridia. Okay, so every bit looks like the votes are strongly for Meridia, so we have one more item to pick up here. And then we'll be heading to Meridia. Then depending on what Meridia gives us, we might be headed straight for Lower North. Because we know that if given the option for a lower enough for Hellrun, everybody's going to choose it. There is going to be a decision, but um, but but let's be honest. If if people have the option of a lower enough for Hellrun, everybody's going to choose it. So be, we we don't have um we don't have the necessary stuff to um get out normally. We don't have speed booster. We just have to we have to do reverse up mountain hell run. So so in Meridia um in Meridia the first the big decision is going to be um. Do we check Sandpit before or after Bot Wound? You know what? We just remember that we don't actually have access to Bot Wound. We don't actually play that many randomizers, so we forget things like that, so... But if we do get Bot Wound access... Do we, um... Do we do Bot Wound before... Do we do Sandpit before or after Bot Wound? Actually, we guess that there's an... And there's also Shock Tool that we can check. Space jump actually works underwater. Space jump works the way that you'd expect it to underwater. Oh, we could. We could. We, yeah. We, no, no, we can totally do about one crystal flash skip. Um, we haven't done it in a while, but um, it's definitely something that we can do. That could take a while. So, so, cat. Oh, 
bot wound or um bot wound or sand pit. Oh, there we go. There's the access. So should should we go for the bot wound create CF clip anyway? We can totally go for the bot wound CF clip just for fun. We can totally go for the bot wound CF clip just for fun. Um, it, it could it, it could definitely take us a few minutes, so that would be the downside. But it's a really really awesome skip when it works. Okay, we're seeing a bunch of votes for the CF clip, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna have to empty our reserves for this. Or we're gonna have to get our health below 50. So these snails work like booze. Oh, okay, those do way less damage than we thought. So we're actually gonna take an extra safety save just because um we can die damaging ourselves down. The important thing is power bombs, so we, we so we think we think we'll try um two inventories of power bombs. Good, there's the damaging ourselves down. No, we don't need an inscription ball for this. So we are not confident at all that we can actually do this, but we have to try. We have to have to try. We should kill everything just to make sure that we have consistent lag. Oh, come on. Okay, let's try this. We had a visual cue for it, but we haven't practiced it in a long time, so... This is frame perfect, so. And we are very out of practice with it. There's a super solid chance that we're just using doing the timing completely wrong. We do have spring ball, but we need to just use bombs for the timing for this. We promised that we'd use them two lives trying. We're gonna die to bot wound and then um we're gonna, we're gonna die to bot wound and then try once more. Um Again, this is something we're super super out of practice with. So 
so we aren't even sure what what the visual cue that we aren't even quite sure the visual cue that we're supposed to use. Um, we know that the visual cue is um when the power bomb explosion is starting to touch Samus, versus when it starts to, somewhere between before it touches Samus and when it hits the edge of the screen is the is the timing. I'm gonna be killing bot one with ammo. We're trying to clip through the ceiling for fun because chat willed it. So if it feels this time, we're just moving on. Three more tries. That's fine. Um. There's, there, there's always a low chance we'd actually get it. It, it, it. That is frame perfect, and we um, and we are out of practice and don't have the visual cue for the right frame memorized anymore. Sadly. Okay, there we go. First try bot wound. First try damage list bot wound. So, yeah. Not the best item. So, so after after Dragon, we're going to have some options um After Dragon, and we're gonna have some options. We can, um, we're gonna have the option to go into Plasma, to Shack, or, or to Shack Tool, or to Lower North Air, or to the wreck ship. So, Plasma, Shack Tool, or the wreck ship are the options. Nope, we don't get a chance at the full halfy because you don't know if I jump. Yes, 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 we are voting on speed or grapple kill. That is an excellent, excellent choice thing to vote on. The speed or grapple kill. So anybody can easily just vote on whatever the fuck they want. Sorry. Anybody can just vote on whatever the heck they want. Um. Grapple kill it is.
So anybody can just vote on whatever they want, and um, we may or may not take it in. But please just vote on whatever you want, and then um, we can see what we can do. Her attack means that Dragon cannot damage us. Okay, this looks like a grapple. Nope, not a grapple round. Dragon has a 50. After the Dragon is guaranteed to do one swoop and 50 for 50 chance of gooping or swoop. Easy, easy, quick kill. Okay, so now, now um, plas now now the next question is plasma or shock toll. Plasma shock toll or the wreck ship. Let's go. Yes, yes, we are checking Sand Pit on the way to Shaktol. We are definitely checking Sand Pit on the way to Shaktol. We're collecting ammo because we're playing in a lower north air, Hellrun. Okay, these supers are very, very welcome. Um, we're gonna need more supers if we're gonna actually block the Hellrun. Because with this ammo, um... With this beam combo, we absolutely we're gonna need 30 supers for Ridley, plus we're gonna need a crystal flash or two. Okay, let's see what we have here. So So should so should we do it after so we're gonna check Shack Toll and Plasma. Should we do a lower north for Hell Run? Or should we go up to the Rock Ship and, and grab Varia and be safe? Actually, you know what? There's several options. Um We can go to the Rock Ship, we can go to the water we can go to Waterway, or we could or we could um go to the lower north for Hell Run. Oh, we guess we guess we guess that um we, we forgot we forgot that um we are gonna be checking Croc along the way. If we're gonna be doing a hell run, we want all the stuff that we can get for it. Especially um especially ammo. Whew. We almost had to reload the room. We almost almost had to re reload the room. Let's get your shack trolls out in chat for everybody's favorite digging machine.
We see one vote for silver is here. Let's see what let's see if that's right. Archbeam. Basically the solvers of Super Metroid. Ice beam and plasma room. Yeah, so some beams would actually be really nice. We just can't we just can't do the Renorfair with this ammo. We're gonna need at least 10 supers for Crystal Flash. I'm gonna need a ton of ten more ammo for Ridley. But we're getting really close. We're getting close to the point where it's possible. If we were task bot, we would have found a way to make the shooting at the wall open the door somehow. But unfortunately, we're just human, so none of that. Another E tank. Okay, so there, so there are two more majors um, along the way for the Hell Run. Good, we did manage to snipe both of those. You basically have to kill those with um, screw attack. There are other ways, but not any other good ways. The two more majors are the ones at Croc. There's two more majors at Croc, and then, um... We believe that there's seven majors outstanding. Um, Four in the wreck ship and two at croc and one at waterway that's a two that is a five out of seven chance that we will end up having to do the hell run yeah we would definitely be checking oh you're you completely forgot the items in lower north fair oh but the lower lower north items can't be very uh So what we're hoping to find at Croc is um just more beam upgrade. Because we really, really need more damage against Ridley. Okay, if we found Wave and Plasma, that would be perfect because that would set us up perfectly for Hell Run. Barry cannot be in Lower North Air. Wow. Wow, that was a first try green gate glitch. We're super happy with that. Um We were not expecting that to work so well. We we're not expecting that to work so well. So here is everybody's favorite eight eye melty monster. For a long time there was a debate. Does Croc actually have eight eyes? Because um you only get to see one side of Croc's face. And then we solved that by by looking at the instruction manual where it shows the other side of Croc's face. We have confirmed that Croc does have eight eyes. That was a really, really good croc fight. There we go. There is Ice Beam. Um, we're not particularly thrilled about that because that's not much DPS increase.
Almost gotta go for the speed keep. Always mandatory to go for the speed keep. We're gonna be checking every single miner in here because we really, really do want more super. Especially with a beam combo like this. Um, if we found plasma, that would completely solve all of our problems. Okay, that is really, really, really good. If, we, if, we, if all three of these were, pla were um, supers, we'd be happy. Poor Croc. Of all the bosses, Croc is definitely the one that you feel the worst for. Because you're just um, kind of invading Croc's home. Croc doesn't even attack you until you attack first. Okay, so there will be a few extra items in Lower Norfair. There will be a little bit extra of uh, extra ammo in Lower Norfair, so we should still be good. But it's definitely not gonna. The ammo situation is not comfy. The ammo situation is not. The super situation is not comfy. Power bomb situation is really really comfy. There we go, another you think. Lower north for hell run it is. This is actually a really, really good seed for a chat plays because lower north for hell runs are so lower north for hell runs being possible are is one of the best things about this randomizer version. Because the Gravity, gravity reducing um, heat damage by 50% is all so easily possible. Which is so, 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 so wonderful. Use, use, yep. We will definitely be going for the speed, um, this, the speed booster kill of the metal pirates. That is always good without plasma. Now we have to hope for some- now we have to hope for some, um... Let's see, how many item spots are there still- are, still that we haven't checked? There's three in Lower Norfair, four in the Wreckship, and Waterway. Do you believe we checked all the locations in Meridia? Check all the locations, Meridia. Yep, we are definitely checking everything on the way down that we can. The speed booster kill is not that hard to learn. Um, most most people don't you don't do it because um, if if you have um, Rumble Tower was just a minor. If you if you have plasma, it's slower to go for um that kill. Oops. We we're trying to go for the D-boost, but we missed the setup. Fortunately, you can just waltz into lower north air with the stuff that we have. So let's see with with the eight items outstanding and three beams missing, we have a very good chance. We have a very good chance of um being able to hit find at least one more beam upgrade. And we will be checking some miners along the way, so it should be a little bit of extra firepower. Actually, no, we guess that we only took one miner. Here's another green gate glitch. Wow. 
So we actually practiced that because we had a GT Classic run. And like that's just our practice paying off. It feels really good to just practice to pra practice something. Have it work. Okay, that is a really, really, really good pickup. That is a really good pickup. Um it's gonna double our beam damage. Rumble Tower could have had supers. We didn't we didn't think that far ahead. Freyas, we got time for a quick donation? We do. All right, we have a $1 donation from Mother Brain. And Mother Brain says, Mother Brain is waiting for you, but also waiting for that sweet Super Mario 3 console test with Lord Tom we could see. If I'm going down, let's at least make it worth it to see that run. And with that being said, guys, we actually have a new incentive. If you want to see Tassbot play Super Mario Bros. 3 Warps by Lord Tom, Maru, and Tompa done on console using a Tass TM32, then you want to head on over and get those donations in quick. We'll have Lord Tom there to tell us about this run, and it's going to be a special treat you definitely don't want to miss. You get to vote on how many X Factors for Ridley? We don't actually know how to X Factor Ridley properly. But, like, honestly, doing as many X Factors as we can isn't a bad idea. Like, that's a pretty good way to um, use up use up um, our power bombs while doing a bunch more damage. We could even go for the X Factor kill on the Metal Pirates. Um, Something that we invented based on um, where we're at in one of these randos. Oh no, the X the X factor is a great, great, great idea. So, so we think we. We'll we have forgotten how easy it is to farm to full um, with gravity. Echo kill? Heck yes. We're surprised that you see it rarely. Um, every, every world record attempt for this game uses the speed- uses the echo kills. So we do a momentum kill here. Just let go of everything except for dash. That gets us nice, really nicely set up. Well, uh, that might not work. We promised you an speed echo kills, so we're gonna um. Is Boo Booster Mother Brain clip? We promised you a speed booster kill, so we're gonna do that. I promise you a speed booster kill, so we're gonna deliver that. There we go. We don't know how many reserve tanks we have. We weren't counting. Okay, so because we because we're taking half heat damage, we can easily just farm out to full here. We're gonna do exactly that. That way we don't have to crystal flash at all.
We really appreciate how easy um, the runner for Hell Run is with this, and that this seed makes it possible. And th like, this being possible is why we love Dash so much. It's just a very different way of playing than what, how you normally play. Very, very different. So, so, so good. So, if we don't miss a single super, then we just win. Ah, that's new. We've missed three so far. Okay, we massively, massively over prepared for this fight. I should be dead? Yep. We massively, massively over prepared for this fight. That was a super solid Ridley. This is super, super, super solid Ridley. At this point, all the decisions are done. Um, all the decisions are done. We can just finish off the game. We're not going to be checking any more any more items. Um, we're just going to be going. So now we get to go for the speed the speed keep on um, escape. Let's do that properly because this is just too swag to not not show off. Close. Very, very close. Yes, we are gonna be doing baby skip. While we're on our way to Mother Brain, we got time for another donation? Yep. All right, we have a $49 donation from the animals, and they say, Samus, you're going to save us, right? Our fate is in the chat's hands. And with that donation, guys, we are officially up to $3,100. Give yourselves a round of applause. That is really, really awesome. So many, so many awesome donations this run. So many awesome donations this event for such a good cause. Is there an incentive for save or kill? Or is that something chat gets just to, just gets to vote on? I do not believe there is an incentive. So chat, uh, the fate of the animals is in your hands. Save or kill. Or taunt or pet. Entirely unnecessary, but there's a really, really cool trick that you can way to clip through the to clip through these without speed booster. We want to show it off just because it's so, so, so. Actually, no, never mind. Our bad. That requires that requires wave for spacer. You can pet the animals. You can absolutely, absolutely pet the animals.
We do have wave beam. We didn't, but we also need spacer or plasma for that. So this is the fastest way to the surface. Always, this is always obligatory to give the fish a hug. So I guess we're just going to be doing a normal missile kill on Fantoon. Ah! Uh, look at us being clever and farming up supers before getting to the wreck ship. Look at all that clever. There are two green doors in the wreck ship, and if we get there without supers, we're going to be quite unhappy. So now we get to do a nice little speedball into Fantoon, which is a really cool trick. Nope, we have Spring Ball, so we don't get to. Normally you wouldn't have Spring Ball there, so... When doing a mock ball with Spring Ball, you just have, have to let go of jump. Fantoon will open its eye after um, one, five, one, six, or eleven seconds. They're always hoping for fast, fast. Okay, we looks like we actually are on track for a three round. Oh, we don't have a super. Okay. Oh, we're on track for a four round. But what is it? What is what is our time at right now? Because if we're ahead of schedule, we'd like to offer chat the option of doing a lower ammo of Mother Brain for a longer fight if they want. So, so coming up is, um, Coming up is a really, really smart trick that hopefully we can get. See if we can pull it off. The perfect setup for it. Let's see if we can pull it off. Nope, unfortunately we, um... Unfortunately we didn't get the jump. We were trying to spring well jump across the moat, and... We got most of the- we got most of the trick. We don't actually know the spring well zeb. We don't actually know the spring well zeb skip. We 
can definitely attempt to figure it out live for all of We can, um... We're totally down to spend, um... 30 seconds trying to figure it out live. Oh! Wow! We just realized that we forgot to check that item location. It was a complete mistake. That was a complete mistake. Imagine how silly we'd be feeling if that was Varia. We've definitely had a game where, um, we've definitely had a seed where we did that. We, we did basically more or less what we did now and found high jump there at the very end. So one of the decisions left is, should we, should we go for the ice zeb skip or should we go for, or should we attempt the more difficult speed, speed zeb skip? Speed zip skip it is. It might take us half a dozen tries, but we'll definitely be able to get it. We can definitely get a speed zip skip. Here's the rare and elusive baby skip. This is a, this is one of those tricks that we have a 50-50 chance of getting. It's a lot of tricks where we have it where it's 50-50. Easy game. X Factor Mother Brain for swag? You've never X Factored Mother Brain. You've never, never X Factored Mother Brain. This is not. Oh wow. Wow, that didn't even feel like a good charge. And we still we still did and we still chanced it. And no, we're gonna be able to do this pretty easily. We're, we're amazed that we're actually getting that many chances at it. Our short charging game has really improved. We just keep hitting down a little bit too late. Thank you. 
That one actually felt like that, that one actually felt right. With, with, Zip Skip, with Speed Zip Skip going as well as it is now, um, we're, we're absolutely going to get this. We can absolutely, absolutely get this. Okay, this feels like a good short chart. There we go. Easy game. The trick is that once you have the short once you have the spark, you just diagonally spark, you just hold down and just mash jump. We're gonna be shooting off all our ammo except for 15 supers into this. Except for 14 supers. Because we're, we're not keeping track. We're not keeping track of shots. But 14 14, 14 supers is how many we're gonna need to take down Mother Brain to catch up once Mother Brain starts catching up. We need about 50 charge shots. A lot of minutes of charge shots. So Crow, we don't know if you've been keeping track of how many people are saying save, versus, save kill, taunt, and pet. Right now, checking the chat, it is between pet and taunting, and it looks like taunting is currently winning right now. Taunting is currently winning. That's a very dead mother brain. Because we don't have Daria, we need to save. We need to save this much health. This rainbow beam will do 600 damage. And there we go. You have you have a 90 second cutscene plus a 30 second boss fight, so about two more minutes to get um to get your votes in for save kill at Contra Pet. There isn't an issue with X Factor Mother Brain. But the issue with X Factor Mother Brain would be um that you just take a ton of damage. Be faster, it might not. It's not something you've ever tried. Kill the animals, taunt the animals, save the animals. This is super exciting. This is one where the votes are everywhere. Every, everywhere. That 
was a that was a perfect weather rain three. That was an absolutely perfect weather rain three. And at this point, we do need to we do need to call and save kill Tom Pet. This is way too much. This is way too much for us to keep track of ourselves. Alrighty, guys, taking a look here at the votes, it was a very close call. Uh, but I'm going to uh, personally step in a little bit here and tap into my dark Samus, yeah, and I say we're going to go with we're Taunt. Animals. So this entry into this room is our favorite part of the escape. It's wall jumping up the left side into grabbing it on the, onto the ledge. So we're gonna go for the behemoth spark here. We mess it up half the time, but it's fun to go for. There we go. This is the lucky half. And get ready to be taunted, animals. You can save yourselves. We love this. We love the shine spark that you get with taunting. And now, because we haven't saved the animals, we have to, we're gonna have to Alcatraz out. This is always a really interesting trick to do with high jump. That was actually it. There we go. With that, we have some very dead animals. And we have a very dead planet, and mission accomplished. That was a lot of fun. The most stressful part about a randomizer is choosing the routing. And with chat choosing the routing, we just get to be here, interact with chat, just have fun, press buttons, and chat makes all the hard decisions. This is an awesome experiment, and it went so, 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 so well. We are incredibly happy. Thank you for having us. We have absolutely no idea what the final time is. We didn't. We weren't actually running a timer. If somebody has a final time, that would be awesome to know. Fifty-two minutes. Wow. That is that is a super solid. That is a really good time. Even for like, even for a seed where we're making all the decisions. Okay, that's 52 minutes IGT. Okay, that makes way, that makes way 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 more sense. We were we would have been yeah it, that did not feel like 52 minute seed, which is why we which is why it felt um why we were so astonished at how good the time was.
it looks like we are still going, so it looks like we're now going to have a chance at the deer force. Deer force! Always one of the most awesome parts of a run. 